And this is how I improve my grass in my Terran plugin for Godot. There's one thing I wasn't really enjoying in Terran Brush and this was the grass or the foliage. For performance reasons, I decided to make sure that the grass was only visible in certain range around the player and that makes sense. The thing is, I didn't like the way it spawns in front of the camera. And for some reason, sometimes the grass was just flickering like this. I don't know why. I think I can do better. Oh, and don't get me wrong, even in AAA game like Elden Ring here, the grass spawns in front of the player and that's totally fine, I just think that the way I did it was not really cool. We can even see the grass spawn in square patches in front of the player like this and this game is amazing, I don't think that it breaks any illusion for the player. Anyway, let's have a look at how it works right now. Obviously, I'm able to paint the grass on the terrain. We can only see a small square for the grass because this is the way it has been configured right now. Well, that's not a big deal. We can change the range here so we can see more grass. But as you might expect, everything has a cost. For example, with a 200 range, I have about 500 FPS, which is really good. But with a 500 range, it drops about half of my FPS. I mean, that's still really good, but it's a small terrain here. Anyways, now we have enough grass for our cows. So I don't want to get back to place the foliage by end one by one. I have another plan. The terrain already have a way to reduce the number of vertices on the screen and this is by using the clip map algorithm. This helps a lot with performance. So I was thinking, why don't I use a clip map as well for the foliage? I swear to god, I'm smart. After a lot of work, here's what I came up with. The colors are only here for debugging, but as you can see, the middle is way more dense than the sides. All of this is made inside of a shader. It places each particle in the way that it creates a clip map. And the cool thing with all of this is that this is highly configurable. Let's say you don't want your grass to go that far. Well, you just have to change the settings. This is really useful if you want, for example, to allow your player to change the settings for better performance. We can clearly see the same behavior here in the game Sons of the Forest where in low quality settings we clearly see the grass pounds in front of the player really close and if we change it to medium for example now it takes a little bit more time before we start to see the grass disappear but at some point it happens because we want to save performance. And now in high quality settings for the grass, it's really harder to make it disappear in front of the player. But at some point, it will disappear because we don't want to display the grass everywhere in the map where the player is not located. This helps a lot to support different kind of hardware and the players can decide what they want. Anyways, so in my case, this is how I handle it. You can play with the settings to get the results you want. All right, that's cool. I think now it's time to add this to our terrain, right? Um, yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, I did it. First try. I swear, this is exactly what I wanted. Beep, beep. Oh my God, what's going on? My bullcrap meter's going crazy. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, it worked at some point. And as you can see, this is much easier to fill out a old terrain. I also changed the system to use multi meshes instead of GPU particles because I didn't have the flickering here. But I still support both systems. If you prefer to have the particles one, well, feel free to use it. It will use the same algorithm as before. I keep it for legacy. If you don't want to use a grass texture for your foliage, you could also just change your mesh and use the albedo color to change for example here to a green to fit the terrain. It's way more interesting like this and you're able to see the foliage from far distance and with the clip map you can control the density in front of the player. Awesome! I've also added a way to control the scale of each plate using a noise texture. This helps a lot to sell the illusion of having a beautiful grass by having some uneven grass on the terrain. In my opinion this looks way more interesting and probably more realistic. I love it! With all of this, I guess we have better grass in TerraBrush now. There are more options for the foliage available, but that covers most of them. I don't think that this is the best solution ever, but I think that it's way better than what I had before and that covers what I needed for my game. Anyways, that's all I had to show for this devlog. I hope you enjoyed it and we're gonna see each other on the next one. Mm -hmm.